This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at bioavailability. Bioavailability is the fraction of the administered dosage of a drug that enters the bloodstream, thereby accessing the site of action. The factors that affect the bioavailability of a drug are the method of drug administration, the polarity or solubility of the drug, and the type of functional groups present in the drug. We'll start by looking at methods of drug administration. Drugs that are administered intravenously have a bioavailability of 100% as they are delivered directly into the bloodstream. Drugs that are administered orally are often broken down during digestion before reaching the bloodstream. In general, an oral dose of a drug needs to be about four times higher than the dosage of the same drug that is administered intravenously. Next we look at the polarity and solubility of a drug. Very hydrophilic or polar drugs are soluble in aqueous body fluid but are poorly absorbed because of their inability to cross cell membranes. Very hydrophobic or non-polar drugs are also poorly absorbed because they are insoluble in aqueous body fluids. For a drug to be readily absorbed it must be largely hydrophobic but also have some solubility in aqueous solutions. Next we look at the effect of the functional group. The two major properties that contribute to the water solubility of a functional group are its ability to ionize and to form hydrogen bonds. Here we have three examples of functional groups that are able to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. We have the carboxyl group, the hydroxyl group and the amine group. The carboxyl and hydroxyl group both have oxygen atoms bonded to hydrogen atoms. The amine group has a nitrogen atom bonded to a hydrogen atom. Therefore, each functional group is able to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. In addition to being able to form hydrogen bonds, the carboxyl group is an acidic functional group and the amine group is a basic functional group. A carboxyl group can donate a proton to form a negative ion. An amine group can accept a proton forming a positive ion. So by either forming a negative ion or a positive ion, this increases the solubility in water. Functional groups that enhance the lipid solubility of a drug are non-polar. They lack the ability to ionize or to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Here we have two examples of non-polar functional groups. On the left we have a phenyl group. On the right we have a hydrocarbon chain or an alkyl group. Both of these functional groups are non-polar and enhance the lipid solubility of a drug. Next we look at the bioavailability of aspirin. Aspirin is a largely non-polar molecule and therefore has low solubility in water. On the left we can see the structure of aspirin. From the structure we can identify a carboxyl group, a phenyl group and an ester group. Due to the presence of a non-polar phenyl group, aspirin is a largely non-polar molecule. The solubility of aspirin can be increased by reacting it with aqueous sodium hydroxide, forming an ionic salt. So here we can see aspirin being reacted with sodium hydroxide to form an ionic salt and water. Drugs which contain an acidic or basic group can be chemically modified to form an ionic salt. So in this reaction, the carboxyl group is ionized to form an ionic salt. The formation of the ionic salt increases its solubility in water and also increases the bioavailability of aspirin. 